In the previous video, I showed you all how to make a DIY canvas frame so that you can start to create your own canvases for your artwork. So if you haven't checked out that video, make sure to go and check it out. In today's video, we are going to be doing an art piece on that frame. So with all that said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hey guys, so before we get into today's video, I'm gonna show you guys some of the products that I purchased to do this DIY. So I went to good old Wally World and I got this dry Dex spackling. Now, I'm probably gonna need another one of these. I should have got a large tub, but my local Walmart did not have it. I got some spray paint just in case I feel like spray painting, but I may just go over it with some acrylic paint. And then I got these to actually do the spackling on the canvas. So you're gonna need a canvas whether you DIY it yourself or you go and buy one. I am just going to freestyle this. I have no design in mind. I'm just going to make it happen. And I am working on a four by four canvas. So four feet by four feet. Enough of me talking. Let's get into the video. It says to open insert blade of screwdriver between lid and bucket and prop. I have this open in my closet. I'm just not sure. Okay making sure this is what it looks like pink and the one in my closet is super dry but this one's not I wish it was just a little more liquidy <laughs> this is gonna be hard <laughs> is it even gonna stick to this cuz what spackling to my canvas I realized that I was having to just use a little more force to get it to stick to the canvas and that could be because my canvas is not primed so if you are looking to DIY your canvas you may want to consider priming or you're just gonna have to do a little more work you know with your arm but that's okay but like I said it's different from the canvases that you purchase at the store so if you do purchase a canvas then you probably won't have this same issue but if you do just use a little force when you're spreading out these so here's where you're able to get creative and create the design that you want on your canvas i just took a comb and created these squiggly lines on the border of my canvas i seen this method on tiktok where they were creating like rainbow effects but i didn't really want that but i thought that i would still utilize that idea with the comb but just doing a border of squiggly lines if that makes sense but you do whatever you like get creative find things around the house this stuff is easy to work with, but you do want to work fast so it doesn't dry up on you. So before I continued with the entire project, I wanted to make sure that the spackling was actually going to stick to the canvas. So I did let that top piece dry before I decided to continue doing the entire canvas and it did stick i didn't have any issues in the drying process so i decided to go ahead and finish the artwork
so like I stated in the beginning of the video, I really did not have any type of design in mind when creating this piece. So for the middle, I just decided to do long strokes, rectangular like strokes and kind of thicken up the spackling a little bit so that you can see texture in the middle but not too much texture so i was spreading it out pretty thin and then i just went back in and layered over it so that it could add a little more texture as you guys will see but at this point i feel like you can just do anything get creative and just find inspiration on pinterest or tiktok to create your own design. So this is what it looks like after drying from the first coat. I did have to go in and fill in those blank areas where you can still see the canvas as well as just add more texture because it didn't have a lot of texture in the middle. So you guys will see that I did go back in after I got more spackling and this was the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Go ahead, give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.